everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and today we are going to be making a whiskey sour. Whenever I see a whiskey sour, I always think it looks so much more complicated than it is. It's actually a really simple cocktail to make. It does not take that many ingredients. Most of them you will probably have in your kitchen already, so it is a fantastic quarantine cocktail idea. The whiskey sour is a cocktail that has been around for a very long time. I think there is first talk of it in the late 1800s, so it is a very, very old cocktail. So for this whiskey sour, I'm gonna be using Jameson Irish whiskey. It's a great whiskey, I absolutely love it. I have a bottle of it in the house, so it's just really handy to use in my whiskey cocktails. But again, this is pretty simple. You can use a lot of different whiskeys for it whatever works for you. We're gonna be using an egg white to create that beautiful foamy frothy head, which you'll have seen before if you watch my gin fizz video. It involves a lot of shaking, we'll get to that later. You're gonna use some lemon juice. You're also gonna use some simple syrup. Again, a really easy thing to make. I'll talk about that later. And then also you're gonna use a little bit of bitters to garnish. You don't have to have these, but they are great to have if you are a fan of making cocktails at home. Okay, so let's kick things off. I'm gonna start with the lemon juice. I'm gonna use the small part of the jigger and I'm gonna do one part to one part. So I I've got my lemon juice. Then I'm also gonna go in with the same part, fill it up with simple syrup. Again, this is so easy to make, really handy to keep in your fridge. It keeps for about a month. It's basically one part sugar, one part water. Simmer it down until it all dissolves in together and it's so handy for so many cocktails. Now it has kind of become a tradition at this stage that I tell you guys to measure out carefully and that I always have to take a shot of the alcohol that I'm using in the cocktail and this time it's gonna be no different a full large jigger. So now that this is in here, we're gonna go in and add our egg white. So don't be worried about adding an egg to your cocktail. You're only gonna be using the egg white. We're gonna let it sit in the alcohol and the citrus. That's gonna kill all the bacteria. I'm gonna crack this in. I'm gonna try and be as slick as I was the last time and just add in the white. So it's handy to do this over a separate mixer because if you get this wrong, you don't lose all of your ingredients if you end up messing it up and cracking in the yolk. So do it over a separate shaker. God, that actually cracked really, really well. Okay, now we've got our egg white in here. We're gonna add it to the big mixer and we're just gonna let it sit for a few seconds. Let the citric acid just go to work on the egg, break it down, do whatever the hell it wants to do. So when you are making a cocktail with an egg white, you are gonna need to shake it a lot. I mean, you're gonna wanna shake the absolute shite out of it, which is a little bit fun, but also a little bit tiring. Now it's been sitting there for about 10 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and do a dry shake. This is a shake with no ice. You don't need to do it for that long. This makes everything emulsify, and then you can do a shake with ice. Make sure she's closed, and then we're gonna do a dry shake. Okay, that's plenty. So again, when you're done, give her a little slap and she should twist. Okay, she's already got a nice foamy head, which is what we wanna see. I'm gonna add in some ice and then do a proper shake and get this as foamy as possible. Some ice. This shake is always really tiring and I'm not great at it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm actually right. <laughs> Let's go again. Okay, I think that's done. Right, let's give her a little slap and open her up. Oh my God, it's so frothy. Okay, so I've had my glass chilling. Get rid of the ice. So let's strain her in. And then it's the last step. Oh, this looks so good. Let's get all that delicious foam in there. There's so much foam. Look at that gorgeous head, so pretty. We are almost done, we're on to the next step. What we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish with our bitters. This is a really cute little bottle of aromatic bitters. It's by a brand called Off The Cuff. My friend Kevin showed me how to do this and he said to kind of run the bottle across, which is what I'm gonna do. One bottle of bitters will last you for so long, so you can go a little bit heavy on the garnish if you want to. Okay, so that is it, your whiskey sour is done. She looks beautiful. Oh my God, she smells amazing. All done, the only thing that's left to do is to taste it. So I'm gonna move on over to my comfortable Dr. Evil chair and I'm gonna try it and let you know what I think. All right, so I'm back in my Dr. Evil chair and I'm gonna try this. I'm really excited to see what it tastes like. It looks beautiful and isn't that half the battle? So nice. 
A whiskey sour is my number two cocktail order. An old fashioned is probably my favorite, but a whiskey sour is just that little bit sweeter. It feels a little bit more like something you'd have as like a dessert, like an after dinner cocktail. It's so, so, so delicious. I'm very impressed with my shaking skills, to be honest, because this has a sizable head. If you had guests over and you made a batch of these, you'd be seriously impressing people. Like I think they look and taste a lot more complicated and like a lot fancier than they actually are to make. They're really, really simple. And again, a lot of these ingredients you're gonna have in your kitchen already. That was my take on the whiskey sour. I am so impressed with how it came out. If you were following along with me, please do share your results on social media. I would love to see what cocktails you're putting together. Use the hashtag cocktails with Kira so I can see it. If you're sharing on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, I love sharing my favorites as well and it's so fun to see what you guys are making. If you liked this video, then feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I am posting new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.